Hello, it's Pete's Cam's man and Jack from BAM. And today we are stood on the lift shaft on the landward side. And so tell us more, a bit more about this, Jack. Uh, so we're about halfway up the tower at the moment. Um, we are stood in lift shaft section two uh, on the landward side. Right. Um, we're currently stood on the scaffold deck, which will be removed. This is basically where the lift's going to go inside of here. Okay. Um, Behind us, you can see some of the bars which we've been installing off the scaffold deck. Yep. These basically go through um, the kind of perimeter um, right of into each the of the lift shaft sections. They go right down into the ground and they tie all the lift shaft sections together. Okay. So today on the progress tour, we're going to be looking at some of the precast sections that we've installed. Um, obviously, the late, latest video that we've done is the kind of um, manufacturing process over in Ireland. Yep. So if you haven't watched the video already, please, please click on the link above. and so there, click that. Give it a good watch. Yeah, um, and we've got part two coming in the in the next couple of weeks, as soon as we've got the edit done. But yeah. for now, let's go and have a look and see what's been happening. Let's have a look. Uh, so you can see behind us then, um, there's 40 mil gooey bars all around the perimeter of the wall. So in total, there's about 27 bars, um, which basically go right down into the foundation um, and they go all the way up the structure to the top. So like, like I mentioned, we're stood on lift shaft, in lift shaft section two at the moment. There's a further four sections to go on top of this, but they're not quite as high um, as, right. what, as what these are. Um, the only one which is a very similar height is the, the fourth lift shaft section. And that's got the door, is Which it? is where the door is, yeah, yeah, and the control panel. That's just to get, so, so you've got the height when you walk through. Is that the one they were making when we were out in Ireland? That's it, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. And then um, we've got the cantilever to go on next. So, if you, if you remember, when we were over in Ireland, they were fabricating the cantilever section and it, yeah. has, it has a beam which sticks out the side of it, which they were just fixing the reinforcement to. That beam sits on top of the walls, which you can see opposite us. So where that reinforcement is currently being installed and where the lads are installing the shutters for, that is where the plant room is going to be for the lift. So you can see the, the black ducts down on the floor there that's, that go through the base and yeah. that stick up into the base. That is where the mechanical and electrical equipment will run through and that will power that, that will control the lift from the plant room, which is there. Okay. So there'll be a doorway, which you can see where the cutout is there. Yeah. And a door so that people can walk in and out of it. And then over the top of this section, there'll be kind of a, a, a that, that cantilever So that's section. going out that way, is it? Yeah, okay. that's it, right. Then. And then from, from in front of us, you'll turn left and you'll walk straight over to the seaward side then. Yeah. So you can see um, over the last couple of possessions, there's a, I don't know if you've put the video out of the installation in the 27 hour abnormal that we had the other day. Um, that uh, is going out Saturday. So depending on what day this goes out, yeah, Saturday. You've got some editing to do then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, we had a 27 hour blockade um, last Friday. Um, we took advantage of the strikes which were taking place. Yeah. Um, and there were less opera train operators running um, trains through this area, so there was a possession created. Uh -huh. We had a 27 hour blockade where we in installed a substantial amount of the shield wall, uh, which you can see over there at the moment. Yeah. So the landward side, we haven't really touched any of the, the, the lift tower because we can't do that until we've built the plant room walls, the yeah. same as this side. Yeah, okay. Um, so, so the shield wall is basically designed to um, prevent um, waves hitting the staircase and also the bridge deck itself. Okay. Um, so. There's a mechanical connection which goes right the way down into the base slab, which is what we were installing the last time you are here with, with all the bars pr protruding up out of the slab. Yeah. Um, and I can show you some of those when we go over to the seaward side in a moment. Okay, great. Uh, and behind that sea, uh, shield wall will be the staircase. Okay. Um, so people will walk right off the platform onto the stairs, or alternatively, they'll come around and there'll be a gap in between where those two units are in front of us. Yeah. The, the ones next to the lift tower. And they'll be able to walk into the door, into the lift. up onto the lift, and then over Straight the bridge. Over yeah. Brilliant. So we're planning, um, like I mentioned, we're planning on installing another couple of sections of the precast um, on the shield wall this weekend. And then the following possession, the, 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 the weekend after, the walls on this side will be built. Okay. And then that's when we start going up on the landward side tower. So the landward side tower will erect out the ground first. Yeah. The week after then, we're hoping that the steel and the reinforcement is complete on the seaward side. Yeah. And then that'll allow us to build the land, uh, the seaward side tower up out of the ground in the following week's possession. Cool. And then the weekend after, we're planning on putting the deck in. So by mid June, hopefully we'll see two lift towers here and uh, and the deck and the deck going. Oh, the across. deck's going to be exciting. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Me too. Many sleepless nights. <laughs> Many sure. sleepless nights preparing for that one. Sure. Um, so yeah, we've been like I mentioned, we've been having the crane in the car park behind us. So we've been removing the barriers which have been kind of fencing off the car park. Um, on, a, on a Saturday night possession. Yeah. Uh, setting up for the crane about from about 11 o'clock at night, rigging up, which takes normally two hours, and then taking the possession at one o'clock and then lifting for seven or eight hours. Cool. Down on the floor here, you can see the shutters that the guys are preparing up. Um, the, these are um, 
fabricated on site. Yeah. Those shutters are for the walls behind us, so they'll okay. get lifted into position on Friday. Yeah. And then that'll allow, allow us to form the shape of the walls. So all of the walls that you see behind us there will be poured in one stage. Yeah. Um, but I'll take you down. We can have a little bit more yeah. on that. Cool. So bots are just working in the background at the moment. Um, they are fixing and fabricating the shutters uh, for the landward side staircase. So you can see some of the shutters that have been lifted into place on the left hand side, um, where, where the bottom of the stairs are. Okay. This will basically form the base for which the precast stairs fit on. Yeah. On top of that, we saw fabricated over in Ireland. Yeah. Well, we saw some that were already produced and we saw some in, in fabrication in the yeah. workshop, if you remember. That's right, yeah. Um, so they've just fixed all the shutters together. Um, I don't know how many more they've got to make. How many more you got to make? Lots. <laughs> eight. <laughs> eight. So we've got eight more shutters to make. Um, they'll be lifted in. Um, we're hoping the big ones are going to be lifted in tomorrow with the crane. Um, yeah. And then the, the smaller ones we can lift in with the uh, excavator, which we've got on site, which kind of wheels itself around the car park. Okay. Like I mentioned, we've got the two lift towers behind us. Um, roughly where I'm stood now, um, this will be where the access ramp is. Yeah. So that'll allow disabled access and access for people with bikes up onto the platforms. Yeah. And the the, the ramp will go up and around the top corner over there and you'll go round the staircase and then back around into the footbridge. So this, this section in here will actually have a small piece of fence inside of. Yeah. Um, and then the new disabled car parking spaces go adjacent to the lift shaft and then the whole car park will open back up again. Okay, cool. So we are just in the process of basically cleaning up everything now to get the wall ready for the opening. Um, Network Rail, I'm not sure if you've seen, I've done the public announcement and we're planning on opening the wall on the 25th. Okay. Um, so that involves all of the still in basin that you can see as we're going to walk around this now. Yeah. Um, there's still some finishing touches to do over the next kind of eight or nine days prior to us opening. Um, you can see where the guys have started to kind of clean through and jet wash through. Yeah. We've started to rebuild the steps and the last little bit that we've got over this side now is to rebuild the ramp coming back down into this section. Okay. So there'll be a small area fenced off here when we open, but you'll have full everyone will have full access around here then. Okay. Um, the guys have started doing a really good job of cleaning up everything, which I'm sure you'll be able to kind of tell and, and see as we walk underneath now. Well, even for, I was on site yesterday, wasn't I? And it's um, made a huge improvement from then. Absolutely. So we walk around into wow. the right now and uh, yeah, we've started to remove all of the kind of green stains where the precast has been in for a while. And yeah. Obviously, there's been a lot of overtopping over, over the top of the units cleaning up all the granite sets properly. Now it's not a construction site and we're getting ready for the opening. Obviously cleaning up the stairs. Wow, this Concrete looks repairs amazing. and finishing. <laughs> um, we've got a couple of guys coming in over the weekend to start the sealant works around the base plates of all of the, the stainless steel oh, yeah, that you can see in there. front of us. So that'll tidy the bottom of the plates up and make things look a bit neater. Look at this. I'll bring fish and chips down now. <laughs> uh, it's a perfect place to sit. I'll, I'll show you some of the benches that we've been um, constructing out of the reclaimed material. They look really nice, to be honest. So this is these benches are made from old seawall. Old seawall, yeah. yeah. Old seawall. So the lads are just doing the, the final piecing together of them on, on the one bench. They've built, finished two of them, and we're going to finish up the last one tomorrow. Yeah. This side still needs a bit of a good jet wash. They've started the front end edge down here, but yeah. while we're still building and um, putting all the mortar around the benches here. The guys, have, um, the guys haven't started the jet washing yet, but you can see the benches here that they've yeah. started to piece so back together. This is still Brunel stone, isn't it? It's yeah. all still Brunel stone. Yeah. I mean, it's been cut and chopped in many different shapes and sizes to make them fit on top of the, uh, the benches. But still part of the original wall. Still part of the original wall. Yeah, amazing. Wall. So there's four of these seats in total around this area. And when you're sat on here, you can see the sea. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful view still. This is amazing. Wow. Hi, boys. Hi, How are we getting on? <laughs> the final stretch. Final stretch. So we're just, like I say, cleaning up the ramp and, and, and all of the units down. And yeah. over the next eight or nine, nine days, everything will get washed off, ready for, the, ready for the grand opening. So when it's open, they can access all this and the yes, beach? Yes, yes. So they can't access the seawall up there, is that right? No, the seawall will be open as well. The link bridge will be open. Um, so I'll, I'll take you through and okay. I'll run you through what our plan is up the top. So we started the finishing up works around the edge of the stairs and doing the sealant works. Yeah. We're using one of our contractors, EZ Sealants. 
concrete pipe's gone. It's up about as long gone now, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. So <laughs> we've got to remove the engineering target on the right-hand side and put the granite sets in. Yeah. Um, and then this will just have a, a general good clean-up across the top. We've been finishing up the link bridge and getting the drainage channel in on the left-hand side that yeah. you can see. So all of that's ready to go. It is it's, nice, uh, it's nice to just see it all yeah. kind of coming together and looking, looking a bit cleaner now. Yeah. It's a great view from up here. Yeah, I, and I know people have, have asked why there isn't any curved sections on the top of that. But that's going to make some incredible photography. It is, yeah. Um, the reason why there's not curved sections on the front there is when, when you get a, a, a very bad storm, it wouldn't actually, you wouldn't actually get anything from a recurve unit. No. The, the storm's still going to hit the wall like it would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's quite low down there as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's significantly lower. And you are still going to get elements of overtopping, which is why the, the surfacing has been put in the way it has to, yeah. to increase, obviously, see, drainage in the area. See. So you can see how it boats all slopes off back into the open channel. Yeah. And it allows all the water to drain quickly. So we did have quite a, uh, well, some quite heavy overtopping the other week when you did, were doing the footage. That's right. And it was actually, I was, I was so surprised to see how well it works. Yeah. And it was the first time we'd put it to the test, really. And because uh, it was a sunny day, it was gorgeous, two, uh, it? two hours after the tide had dropped off, Everything was just back to normal. Yeah. It actually cleans it actually cleans the basin out as well, which is quite nice as well. Yeah. So it washes all the sand back down into the um, into the ba into that basin area and then the water from the, the river upstream pushes it out pushes to sea. Out, yeah. So like I mentioned before, it's a self-cleansing channel. So even if even in a bad storm where the material does back up, yeah. over time the water will just push it back down the channel and back out. Especially when there's heavy rainfall upstream and there's a large amount large volume of water coming down. Yeah. So like I mentioned members of the public will be able to come up the access ramp yeah. on the left hand side so over, over up that ramp yes so they'll, they'll be able to either go down to the as they come around onto marine parade by the breakwater here yeah um near colonnade breakwater they can go down onto the beach to the marine parade side of colonnade breakwater yeah or they can walk up the wall and around and onto the top of the link bridge and down the rest of the sea wall then yeah um as you come underneath the uh the, the opposite side span yeah. they'll be able to go down onto the beach or up the stairs. Obviously, if, you, if there's member, the, members of the public with reduced mobility, yeah. the disabled access ramp is on the right-hand yeah. side over there, yeah. Okay. So the, the section around the footbridge, which we're going to come on to now, um, that's not going to be fully surfaced, but we're aiming to get a temporary surface put up against the recurve unit, just so we can get the wall back open and get people onto the beach for the bank holiday weekend, really. Okay. That's what that's, that's been our, our main push, to get people back, yeah. back onto the seawall and back onto the beach for the bank holiday. And, so people can use the wall in the summer, basically. So we started having a bit of a general clean up in here. It still yeah. needs a good, good clean up. Um, we've got the benches on the left hand side made out of reclaimed stone. Um, and we've got the grey granite, which you can start to see on the floor a bit better now that yeah. we're cleaning up in here where they replicate through onto the facing panels. That's right. So we've got the arches on the front. So when you, when you open up, how far will people be able to go? Just to uh, so they'll be able to go right the way down, all the way down. Along the here? Along here, yeah. So. Believe it or not, and that hole will be backfilled with concrete. Um, we call it regulating, so we regulate over the top of what we're going to be concreting in that structural slab there. Yeah. And then we're going to be running a, a 1.2 to 1.3 meter wide walkway down the edge of this here, so we can still work on the footbridge in the background and people can access down the wall. Wow, that's amazing. I, I didn't think this would be open for a very long time. No. <laughs> You've been working hard. Yeah. That will make a lot of people happy. I know. So we've just finished putting the steel in for the slab. This is going to be poured tomorrow. Um, and then on Saturday then, we've got a regulating pour to go over the top of this, which tops it up to that red line, red which line, you can see yeah. on the L units there. These six L units were put in in the possession in that 27 hour block A last weekend. Yeah. And that was our main focus really, getting these units in and part of the shield wall to enable us to construct this slab so we can run a, run a surface and slab over the top of it. At the moment, the, re the, he the re heel of the recurve unit is only a metre wide, and yeah. that's not wide enough to run to, to allow members of the public who are disabled to run down here. No. And we couldn't open up the wall okay. if we didn't have a wide enough walkway. Yeah, fair enough. So there'll be a passing bay roughly where the um, tower light is, which widens out if there's two people, so they've got a place to pass over there. And then the from where the precast units are in the background, all of that will be open. So we'll have a little wonder down. So these two units which are missing at the moment are still being fabricated over in Ireland. Well, the one on the left is. The one on the right's already fabricated and has been for some time. They Chase just want to make sure that prior to them sending the unit, they, they match because there's a bit of a, a, a very strange transition where you're going from an L unit 
into okay. the shape and the profile of the, the shield wall there. Oh, that's right, yeah, because this is going to be sealed off. You're not going to be able to access the station from this side, are you? No, that's no. it, no. Okay. So cool. You can't access the station from the seawall. You still need to still use need to go right around, uh, around, around yeah. there. And, and back, it, once it's complete, back up the access ramp. In the, in the meantime, that we still do have the temporary disabled access ramp a bit further up the car yeah. park. Yeah. Or you've alternatively, you've got the stairs down the bottom there. Um, so we've installed uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Lots. eight, nine, ten, eleven of the precast blocks on the shield wall so far. Um, I think there is 60, uh, no, 18 in total. Okay. I think there's 18. I can't remember now off the top of my head. I've lost track of numbers on it. Uh, yeah. Everything now. Um, but like I mentioned, we're planning on installing the two where the tower scaffold are this weekend, and then the two on top of the, the, the second row where you see the gap there. Yeah. Um, and that, that's, that's our plan for the weekend, as well as removing all of this material in here mm -hmm. so we can regulate. How big's the crane this weekend? Uh, it's still a 450 because oh. of the lift radius that okay. we're, we're lifting. Um, if you want to just watch your legs on that concrete pump around there. Obviously, as you can see, we're working in a very uh, tight and congested space yeah. now. Back on that postage stamp. So we've still got the concrete line in, and the guys have started regulating through here, basically just pumping concrete into the wall, um, the low-carbon concrete mix that we use. So the guys have started to regulate through here at the moment, and then, we, like I mentioned, we're going to run that surface in on the right-hand side um, to enable people to, to walk down the promenade at yeah. the, the full length then. The precast units that you can see in front of us, they're going to be getting um, moved over the weekend and that'll allow us to run the walkway through. So these are ready to go on the lift shaft, are they? Up near the lift shaft? Uh, these, the, there's two blocks which can't be installed here, yeah. which is this one and this one. And then the rest of the units, they're going to be installed this weekend. Okay. This section will be open to the public. It still needs a good clean up, um, which will be jet washing the full length of the wall prior to the opening day. Yeah getting all the green and <laughs> all, all the kind of algae off the front of the wall. Yeah. Which is nice for me to see because it kills my OCD, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. And then through this section here where we've got the UTX, we're going to be putting a scaffold bay through there. So that will allow um, members of the public to walk over the top of the scaffold in section. Okay. So, so do you still need to have the supply of concrete once the seawall's open? Or? Uh, we still need the supply of concrete to do the surface and the permanent surface, okay. surfacing works running past and next to the lift shaft. Yeah. There's still some pores next to do around um, well, ar around the uh, the plant room walls themselves, yeah, which okay. is what, where they're fixing the steel at the moment. Yeah. And then, yeah, the rest of the wall will be open. So you, you'll be able to go under the viaduct and along to Dawlish Row and with push chairs and wheelchairs and that's, that's it, amazing yeah. mobility scooters, the lot. Brilliant. Well, I, I just can't believe that's happening because I've still been telling everyone you're going to have to wait till the end of summer. You know. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> You are literally going to be the new heroes of Dawlish. Well, yeah. not that you already aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. But yeah, it'll be a nice day for everybody. So if you are about on the 25th, um, yep. I think we're going to be opening up from about 2... I'll be here, I'm going to be camping on the front. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to be opening up from about 2pm onwards. Okay. Um, feel free to come down. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a, a great day for the town, I think. Yeah. So each shield wall has um, eight... 57 and a half mil dowel bars, which clamp the unit down to the base, and eight 40 mil bar shear dowel bars, which go in the back side. So the shear dowel bars only go between the blocks. Yeah. Um, they only protrude 500 mil into each block, the top block and the bottom block, um, when, the, when the blocks join together. The blocks have got a shear key on top of them, and the shear key down the side, which we fill with grout. Okay. That's just to prevent shear in the blocks yeah. vertically and horizontally. Um, the couplers that you can see here, um, they have been designed to fit into that pocket. So when, when we land the next block on top, there's another pocket cut out underneath there. Yeah. So there's a bit of tolerance for us installing the blocks. Yeah. Um, and you can see the plates there, and that's basically what holds each block down. And each block is clamped to the next block that goes up, okay. either, well, yeah. above it and below it. And the couplers just allow the block bars to be extended up through. Yeah, because we saw that when you were landing, landing these um, lift shaft sections, the, the lads put in the the bars all the way through before you can land the next bit on yeah, the Yeah, that's it. And, yeah, and you don't get a lot of flexibility with this, obviously, as you can imagine. The bars are 57 mil, so if they're not in the right place, yeah, yeah. You're, not, you're, not, <laughs> you're not moving them. They're pretty huge. Um, so we spent a lot of time getting the setting out right for this. So yeah. the, the, the two Harrys, Keith and Paul um, and Ethan, did a cracking job of getting all the engineering right on this. Yeah, it looks great. You can see down the wall then where, the, where we've started to install the shield wall blocks and you've got the different joints. 
and then it ties back into the um, the promenade units down there. There's a yeah. sli slight change in the re direction between the promenade units and the shield wall. Yeah. Um, like I mentioned, the guys are just connecting up the concrete pipe now, ready for tomorrow's pour, and we'll get that slab poured. Yeah. And then over the weekend, the whole area that you can see in front of us will be regulated. Very similar to what's done behind us over yeah. here. Okay. And then Monday, uh, we concrete the surface and strip all the way down through. Over the weekend, we're lifting a load of fencing in. The fencing will segregate us from the members of the public while we're doing work on the, the footbridge and the shield wall. Yeah. Um, and we'll be carrying on working on that in the background then. Brilliant. Can't wait. <coughs> right, Jack, well, brilliant. Thank you for another tour and how You're exciting welcome. that it's going to be open in a matter of days. I know, I'm really looking forward to it. So um, that's it. Like, it's, you, you are going to be able to get from here to Dawlish Warren. People have been asking me and I've been saying, no, that's not happening to the summer, but I got it wrong. So uh, absolutely amazing work by Bamnut or getting it done from here. No, you're and, um, and obviously, thanks for everybody for being patient with us. I know, it's, yeah. I know it's obviously been a long time coming. Um, we have had a few few issues with obviously uncharted gas mains and things like that. Yeah, that well, the program, but, you, but... You've, you've, you've dealt with it and it's opening earlier than I thought. So get booking. So we've got the Blenheim over there and we've got Oak Cliff Holiday Park in Dawlish Warren, which is a great spot to book. And um, yeah, come and see this new incredible seawall. On the 25th? On the 25th. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. I'll be here. Celeste will be here. Jack will be here and the team will be here. Right then, Jack, so what have they got to do with this video? Give it a like, give it a subscribe and give it a share. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Thank you.